Both of y'all are <laughs> liars, man. Shouldn't have won one? What are y'all, what, over Kobe? Should not have won the- Hell yeah, over Kobe. The Kobe one, yeah, sorry. Kobe? Yeah, Kobe. Oh, we, we, we giving MVPs to seven seeds now? Eight seeds? That's what we doing? He was a, Steve Nash was an eight seed almost his whole career. Not when he won MVPs. He never won a championship. Has he been in, how many times has he been in the finals? The MVP ain't given you- How many times has Steve been in the finals? Who cares? No, I'm just asking you. Who, you, you know the I'm answer. I'm just asking you. Thanks, Steve, yeah. Never. So? That don't mean nothing. He's not no MVP, you're a good point guard. Ray for Austin played in the finals. Didn't that make him MVP? But come on now. I'm just saying. They gave Steve two MVPs. They didn't give him, he won two MVPs. What? They didn't give him, he won that. <laughs> because they put him out there with four dudes. So you telling me this Steve Nash was the best in the NBA in two years in a row? Yes. 100%. <laughs> First of all, shout out producer Danny and producer Steve, who knew that actually That's running that sound boy. would be a good idea. <laughs> producer Mahmood, who put all of those very important yes. leaps over you. This was during one of the commercial breaks yesterday, during our show, debate over whether Nash deserved his second MVP in 06 over Kobe. Do any of you have any follow-up thoughts before we move on? I love Steve Nash. Like I told you, you know how I feel. Steve Nash is my guy. He was my vet when I got drafted. I love Steve Nash. But I just don't feel he was the best in the league those two years. Um, that's, that's just what it is. I mean, he, he, I'm happy he got him. I'm proud of him. But I just feel like Kobe should have got it. I, I think what people miss is because he didn't average 35 a game. That means he wasn't best in the league. Steve Nash showed everybody that their basketball there's more to it than just getting getting buckets and when you look at what the team did when he played versus when he didn't play we were the best team in the league when he played and when we didn't play we were a lottery team if that ain't most valuable I don't know what is I'm, I'm never like super comfortable with that being the biggest factor you're supposed to reward a guy who's on a bad team without him and then a guy who's on a good team we're supposed to say oh no no but it's count. not because right. he's on a good team I'm telling you he made it a good team and when he didn't play they weren't even 500. They weren't even a playoff team. I think, I think, I think part of the... Kane. <laughs> I think, Lamari missed that whole second year. What I about that? part of the complication here... And everyone here. thought they were going to be a 7 seed, an 8 seed, and maybe not make the playoffs. He was hurt a lot. Don't you think part of the complication here, too, is that it's not specifically OG did Steve deserve two MVPs, but people feeling like Kobe deserved more than one in his career? And the idea that, the idea that Kobe Bryant is only a one-time MVP, the, something had to be wrong, and one of those had to be his. That, 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 that's, not, that's not Steve's fault. That's not that's Steve's fault, but Steve's fault. she makes a lot of but, sense. But, but, no, but no, no, but we can't, we can't sit here and start <laughs> to count how many MVPs everybody got. Like, oh, he should have had more MVPs. Shaq only got one MVP. You think Shaq's a one-time MVP? Steve probably stole one from Shaq. Come on, man. <laughs>